tax fairness is a very important issue uh, to me and I know to a lot of other people and tax fairness takes many different forms. For example, there are lots of people who uh, manage to avoid paying their income tax and they get away with that for a while. But I'll tell you, every time we have a fiscal crisis, I advance the idea that we ought to be investing in more auditors so that we can get people who owe taxes to pay their taxes. And as a result, we end up with a system that is fairer because instead of you and I and others who pay their taxes subsidizing those who owe taxes but have not paid them, uh, we get them to pay their taxes and, and we find that once you give a tax amnesty or you uh, relieve uh, them of any penalties or interest if they'll come forward, uh, once they get back onto the tax rolls, they tend to stay on the tax rolls and so it not only produces some immediate revenue, but it also uh, produces more reliable tax collections on into the future. Another way in which we uh, try to create tax fairness in Massachusetts is to identify those areas where uh, people uh, may be finding ways to avoid uh, paying taxes. And, and one of the ways that they do it in uh, the corporate world is if they operate in many states, they find the state that has the uh, least tax burden in terms of corporate income tax and they export the uh, profitable portions of their business onto the books of those states so that they will pay less tax even though they're delivering the service out of Massachusetts and maybe even to Massachusetts uh, residents and taxpayers. So uh, there's a bill that we sponsored uh, over a number of years called Combined Reporting which would force uh, each state, uh, I'm sorry, force the corporations to uh, pay taxes in Massachusetts for the business that they conduct out of Massachusetts. Uh, to just give you a sense of scale of the value of that, once we were able to fix that, in the very first year we saw more than $300 million of additional tax collections uh, based on those corporations that had previously been beating their Massachusetts uh, tax uh, obligations by organizing themselves outside of the state even though they were headquartered here and even though they were doing business and selling goods and services to the people of Massachusetts and to others out of Massachusetts. And so uh, this is just one example of a change in our tax system that we were able to accomplish in recent years. That went into effect in 2008 so you can do the math, we're already in uh, the fourth tax season since then, so that's more than a billion dollars of revenue that's available to support services here in Massachusetts. By the way, to support those same corporations, because they're asking for uh, qualified people uh, through our education system, for reliable transportation, for a court system, for environmental protection, for all of the things that we all need, and uh, so now they're paying a fairer share of the tax burden to help support the very services that they're using.